Tanner here has been at the Animal Aid Society in Hampton for more than a decade. But soon the terrier mix and 40 other dogs could be without a home. So over the years we've done very well in building up our shelter, but unfortunately with the change in the 2016 laws, we're no longer in compliance with the state. Because of changes in state legislature, volunteers tell me the nearly 50 year old facility is out of date and they must build a new shelter. If not, they could be forced to close or face expensive fines. We're working very hard to get up to compliance. One problem is the outside kennels. They have the indoor out, um, area, which is heating and air conditioned, and then you have the outside area. The problem with the outside area is that it is dirt and it is not temperature controlled and it cannot be cleaned or sanitized properly. On a day like today when it's raining, volunteers tell me another issue they deal with is flooding. Just take a look down here at this walkway. You can see the entire area is covered with water. Over the years, it just progressively keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Plans are already in place for the new updated facility, including moving the dogs to this open space, the current housing area. This area behind us will become our new walking area. And what we have planned for that is an area with nature trails, shaded areas. But the rebuild will cost the shelter around $2 million, money the nonprofit tells me they don't have. We have the vision. We have the plan. Right now, what we need is the funds. If you would like to help the facility reach their goal, you can find out more information online at WTKR.com. In Hampton, Brian Hill, News 3.